Hey everybody, welcome to today's show. Welcome to Equality and Rights for All. I'm your host, Anthony Larita Duke, and we have a great topic for today's show, in which it is phase one of reopening in certain counties only started today in New York. Now let's get right into this topic. New York governor has stipulated that there's four phases of the reopening for the state of New York. And today <clears throat> started the reopening, but only in certain counties within the state of New York. There's 10 counties total throughout the state of New York, and five out of the 10 uh, were able to reopen today. There's still five that cannot open, uh, reopen today. So, um, which is, I mean, this is good news. This is a step in the right direction. And people have been asking me why only five counties are able to start, start to reopen today and not all 10. It's because there's a, uh, the New York governor has set a seven metric unit system that all counties have to meet in order to fully reopen. And only five out of the 10 counties met all seven metric units to reopen in. And the other five did not meet all seven just yet. So um, if the other counties that we're not able to open up today, if they're able to uh, meet the remaining metric units and to meet all seven metric units, then all the counties can be reopened. And this is for the first phase. Don't forget there's four phases. Now, within those four phases, as each phase starts, governor is uh, going according to the CDC guidelines and waiting two weeks in between each phase in order to reopen, okay? And well, hold on one second, ladies and gentlemen, hold on. Sorry about that. I had to shut the window because there's way too much noise outside. Anyways, so like I said, there's four phases to the reopening within the state of New York. And the governor is uh, in between each phase. He's going to wait two weeks to see how things go and to make sure that between each phase that there's no huge increase of the coronavirus cases. Which is called, get ready for it, get ready for it, the smart way of doing things. Now, I know a lot of people have been having cabin fever, and everybody's anxious to have the, have the economy restart. And uh, speaking of which, the New York Stock Exchange will partially reopen on May 26th, that's 2 6 26. And because a lot of people have been asking me that today, and um, so I wanted to put it out there. And so, uh, the New York Stock Exchange Higher Brass want to reopen the New York Stock Exchange the correct way on the floor for proper trading and but you know, uh, for health reasons too. You know, people wearing a mask and everything else and stuff like that. So there's going to be new restrictions on how to reopen the New York Stock Exchange. But anyways, I wanted to mention that. And so this is just a right way of doing things, ladies and gentlemen. There's a stupid wrong way. And then there's an intelligent, correct way of doing 
payments. But you had many states out there, and, and even other countries, that said, let's just do a full reopen, and that's it. And bing, bang, boom, they had a second major wave of the coronavirus cases, and it was a, a disaster. We don't want to do things like that, right? We want to do, it's called using the brain time, right? You got to pull your brain out from where the sun don't shine. Start to use the brain, start to use some sort of intelligence and do things the right way. Okay? How do we do that? By doing what the New York governor has stipulated. Into the proper ways of reopening. We will reopen. There's no doubt about that. But you've got to do it correctly. The smart way. And for, um, so... I said today is phase one of reopening in certain counties only. Five out of the ten counties of within the state of New York are uh, doing phase one of the reopening today, right? But again, with restrictions, it's not just reopen and go back to the way that it was. No, 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 no. This is with restrictions, with rules and regulations that that all the businesses and the consumers must follow. And that's it. So, that is uh, the topic for today's show. And I want to remind everybody about my business, my website, which is Advocate Information Highway. And the link to there is awldny.com. And you guys can check out all the pages on there. And in a few minutes, I will be hosting today's show, because I know it's a little confusing. I didn't host yesterday's show yesterday. I was held back a little bit from unexpected stuff. Uh, it was very personal. I had to take care of it. But uh, in a few minutes after, the, after hosting this show, I will host today's show of Disabled Reality. And so with that, I hope to speak to everybody again next week, next Thursday, which is May 20th. Uh, 21st for equality and rights for all and i hope to speak to everybody also again uh next friday as well for uh which is may 22nd for disabled reality and so with that take care everybody bye